When it comes to writing the blog post, it doesn't really matter whether it's for yourself or someone else. Same thing applies. The blog posts need to be intentional in the sense that they're really connected to what it is, where they're going with the blog. What is the topic? Um, a lot of bloggers are going to want there to be affiliate things. They want to be able to promote. They want to be with um, uh, different kind of ad services that are going to show up on the page. And so with a blog, you're going to be thinking about what's the key words, what is it people would be looking for. And I have things in the program about free keyword tools. So you can kind of do a little search and you want to think about uh, in the marketing sense of the blog post, you want a headline, whatever at the top of the blog, what, what the title of that blog post needs to be like a little headline that may include keywords, something people are searching for and that they're going to find the blog post when they're searching for that term. Okay. That's kind of how SEO works, search engine optimization. So you want to keep them engaged. So this is where kind of that invisible marketing core needs to be in the blog post as well. Even if you're not saying, uh, here's the thing by the thing. Now, ideally on a blog, and I'm still working on getting mine all squared away with this, the call to action should be, there's something to optimize that blog post. And by that, we mean they can sign up for something. So when you're writing a blog post, if you're doing it for someone else, especially if you're being paid, write it, you need to see, this is how you bring more value to your client, because you can say, you know, you really need to be thinking strategically about these blog posts. So you don't have to come back and redo all this. You should have some kind of a call to action, even if we're not selling anything, even if it's a, a freebie, because someone just reading the blog post is not on their list, right? As a subscriber, they have to sign in for something, opt in for something. So that's why you want to optimize the blog post with a thing for them. So they will opt in because then the purpose is building the list, building the list, building your community of the people that want to hear what you have to say and that you can then start emailing as well as blogging for. And then when you have a blog post, you can go to your email list and say, Hey, did you see the new blog post today about X, Y, Z? Think of that in the, in the sense of selling, like people have to feel something, you know, we're going to talk about this a lot with a copy. You have to feel something when they read the copy or, or hear the message.